Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, looking at some more Mecro Lauder. Yeah, I actually got a few Mecros to review on the channel just for fun because uh, I was buying for my 4th of July party some light American light lotteries uh, on a online webshop that just sells American things called American Food for You. But they had loads of like macro beers from also Canada and Mexico. Just very popular drinks in the States really. And I was like, let me get one of each of some of these popular brands and review them and check them out because a lot of them I've never had and never done reviews on. And you know, it's a beer reviewing channel. We, I mostly review craft beer, but I think it's fun once in a while to get the macro in. And we kind of did the foul beer tasting extravaganza as well, uh, where we got the macro in that way. And, and I didn't get to do one this year. Uh, so instead, the, I think it's gonna be a little bit more sporadic, but we're gonna have a few off tasting videos. I already did of the Four Loco tasting, and I did the tasting of Bud Light variants. Um, but I think it's, once, it's fun once in a while, to take one of those macros and then they end up being either okay or just shit and you really see the big difference in, in what you're drinking now, right? So I'm sitting inside because it's raining. It's so typical. I went on vacation this week. I took my vacation and was planning to hang out, doing, doing some barbecuing with some buddies and some stuff. What happens? We just get rain all fucking week. <laughs> it's typical, but oh well. Uh, we're gonna enjoy some beer inside instead. So we're checking out some Mexican pale lager today, guys. Macro lager. This is none other than Dos Equis. Uh, Dos Equis, I think that's what people call it. Lager Especial. Um, I think I might have tried this at a Mexican restaurant when I was studying in the States, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's one of those that's gave me. I remember having Pacifico Clara and some of the, those beers, but uh, this is from one of the big guys. It's from Heineken, or it's actually brewed at Cerveceria Moquezuma. I'm butchering that, I'm sure. Uh, but this company is owned by Heineken. They produce this, Dos Equis. They produce Sol, for example. Uh, what others? A Tecate. They have a few famous beers. Um, but yeah, Dos Equis is probably the mo one of the most famous ones and quite famous for the most interesting man in the world advertising campaign. But it's a 4.2% pale lager and it says it's been brewed in Mexico since 1897 by a German brewmaster. They don't even state his name, but a German brewmaster who brought his heritage to Mexico to brew the beer originally called Ciclo XX to celebrate the arrival of the 20th century. And then it just became later known as Dos Equis. Uh, yeah, they say it's a pilsner style lager with a fresh aroma and full body taste and has just the right amount of balance and flavor refreshment. Now, the problem is I can't really see what it's made with. Uh, there was like a sticker on here. I think it was like a price sticker uh, and I tore it off, but I tore off the label. So I don't know if it's a rice lager or if it's 100% malt. Mm, it says something about servings, but that's... A Oh, it's so well, well whatever let's check it out Dos Equis. so pour is a very pale golden yellow color it's 4.2 percent it looks like your classic american macro lager or mexican macro lager um i think this is one of those mexican lagers though you never see people putting limes into i think when i've seen it people just drink it like this or out of cans uh white head to it let's check out the aroma Ooh, what the hell, that smells terrible. It smells like you poured apple juice into a lager. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, there's so much acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is an off flavor, some of you guys might know, which is specifically known for being green apple -y. And if you get a hangover from drinking beer, like bad, it's often because you've had beers with loads of acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is a toxin, and in high levels, it's not good for you. That's why you get hangovers from beer. Also, of course, because of it's alcohol. But man, I'm just, it is, it's, it's crazy because it's not really, I'm not really smelling skunkiness. It's just like boatloads of green apple to me. And it, the skunkiness is something I'd expect for, you know, a lime green bottle. But there's maybe a little bit there, but underneath I, I do smell a little bit of a sweet, bready, almost slightly papery malt thing. So it might also be slightly oxidized. However, I don't know when this is from. It looks like it was brewed in April. Um, but yeah. yeah, let's try it. Cheers, this doesn't bode well. Almost like something that reminds me of agave or something. Hmm. Fuck that shitty. That is so apple -y. 
Seriously, it tastes like someone dunked apple juice into your pale lager. <laughs> I would actually rather have a Bud Light <laughs> than this. It also has like acetone like flavor, like permanent marker or some shit. It's 4.2%, it shouldn't have that. That's just like alcoholic flavor. It has a little bit of that. The malt profile is super subdued. It's super light. It's like in the American light lager, so. It's like this slightly, lightly, lightly sweet grain profile, but it's super light. It's a little bit refreshing. It's definitely also a little bit skunky, and I think it's also a little bit oxidized because it has like a papery type thing. I, I don't know if it's like that always. I mean, I've never had a fresh bottle of Dos Equis. But yeah, this is one of the worst macro beers I've had in a long time. This is pretty shitty. It's like there's a lot of off flavors, but the, per se, it's not like offensive or anything. I think most people would just drink it, but it just, to me, it doesn't taste great whatsoever. Like, I actually, when we had the tasting, I, there's a review coming of that. I actually kind of enjoyed Miller Lite. I thought that was a pretty fucking decent light lager. I must say, we did a battle of that kind of like just on our own between Bud Light and, and Coors Light and Miller Light came out on top, like it had most hop character and whatnot, but yeah. Not not to say that it's a great beer by any means, but I'd much rather drink that than this. I'd even take a Corona with a slice of lime over this, to be honest. It has a light lemon and grassy citric hop character, super light, but yeah, this is pretty shitty. It's fucking crazy how apple this is. <laughs> so much acid aldehyde, but yeah. Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying this at key unless you want to try it just to try it. Uh, if you're in Mexico, it's probably decent to sit and get smashed on, but why not drink some tequila instead and drink proper tequila and mezcal when you're in Mexico, right? Uh, instead of this. And they also have some craft breweries down there, but yeah. Uh, Below a 50. I'm, I'm not gonna go drain pour this, that's for sure. I don't want to drink that. Um, wait, a drain pour? What is that? Like a 40? Maybe a 30? It's like 1.75, maybe 1.5 on untapped. This is one of the worst macro beers I've had in a long time. It gets really hard to rate that low because I'd say like 50 is where that's passable beer that you drink, but below that you start getting into beer with off flavors. And if I don't want to drink it, like I said. Drain port, isn't that around like a 30, I'd say? Like if you gave it like a zero or like a 10, it'd be like the worst beer you've ever drank. I don't think like it's that bad, but probably around the 30 mark. This is crap. I would not ever, I, I wouldn't be the type of guy who refused to drink it if someone offered it to me because I'm not a beer snob. I'm a beer geek. But if I had to choose myself, I would not pick this beer. Unless I could get to try it super fresh. Yeah, apple bomb, that's for sure. So if you guys had a chance to try Cerveza Dos Equis, let me know what you thought of it. Stay tuned for some more macros coming up. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's it's actually quite fun to taste the difference between well-brewed and, like, macro. It's uh, Especially when you try so much good stuff nowadays. But, yeah, if you had it, let me know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers and some pretty shitty lager and go pour it down the drain. And see you guys in another video.